Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, friends, as we explore the universe water cycle. Have you ever wondered how rain forms or where the water in your glass comes from? Well, you're in for a treat because today we're going on an adventure to explore the magical journey of water, also known as the water cycle. So, grab your explorer hats and let's dive in. Yay! What is the water cycle? The water cycle is nature's way of recycling water. Just like we recycle paper and plastic, Earth recycles its water over and over again. This cycle has been happening for billions of years, and it's the reason we have water to drink, swim in, and water our plants with. Let's explore how water goes on an amazing journey, changing from clouds to rain and then back up into the sky again. Evaporation is the first stage of our water cycle. Evaporation is when the sun heats up water in rivers, lakes, and oceans. The water turns into vapor or steam and rises up into the air. It's like when you see steam rising from a hot bowl of soup. Condensation is the second stage of our water cycle. As water vapor goes up and meets cooler air, it turns back into tiny droplets of water. This is how clouds are formed. It's similar to when the bathroom mirror fogs up after a hot shower. Precipitation is the third stage of our water cycle. When those water droplets in the clouds get too heavy, they fall back to earth as precipitation. This can be rain, snow, sleet, or hail, depending on how cold it is. Collection is the fourth stage of our water cycle. After the water falls, it collects in oceans, lakes, rivers, and even underground. Some of it will soak into the earth and be used by plants. And then, the cycle starts all over again. Why is the water cycle so important? Hey friends, have you ever wondered why the water cycle is so cool? Let me tell you, it's like Earth's very own water adventure. Picture this. Water zooms around in a big cycle. And guess what? It's super important for all living things. Yup, it's the reason we have yummy water to drink, veggies and fruits to munch on, and why the weather isn't too hot or too cold. So. Next time you're sipping your water or munching on a snack, remember to thank the awesome water cycle for keeping everything just right. If you did enjoy the incredible journey of the water cycle, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. And this is the incredible journey of the water cycle. From rising into the air as vapor to falling down as rain, water is always on the move making life possible on our wonderful planet. Thank you for joining me on this wet and wild journey. Keep exploring, stay curious, and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye. Brakun.